Various iOS frameworks use blocks to implement handlers, to sort, or to enumerate through items. The Assets Library framework is one such framework. In this example, I'll show you how to use blocks together with the Assets Library framework to enumerate through all photos saved in albums on a device and populate a table view. Then to open a preview window which also uses blocks to retrieve asset information and display the photo selected. Much of the code is already written for you and you'll find the starting point for this exercise in the course project files saved in the library browser underscore begin folder. So let's take a look at the application as it currently stands. In the root view controller we have a table view defined. We have a preview view controller with a UE image view. The preview view controller is already coded with the code necessary to retrieve and show the photograph that's been selected. We'll come back to that in a few moments though. And we'll see that in the root view controller, we have very little code. So we need to start working on here to add the code we need to retrieve assets, to work through them and to populate that table view. First thing we'll do is we'll go into the root view controller and we'll define an NS mutable array and we'll call it assets. This is going to be used to hold our assets once we've retrieved them and processed through them. We'll jump back over to the root view controller implementation file and here in the root view controller view did load method it's going to paste in some code I prepared before and talk you through what it's doing. Now you'll see what we're doing here is we're defining one, two blocks. The first block, or the second block as you see it's shown, but the first block that will be executed, is specifying a group enumerator block, and it's passing in an assets group parameter. And we're going to say if we've got a group parameter, then we'll enumerate the assets using the second block. Now the asset enumerator block will then work through assets, finding them, seeing if they match on the group, and if they do, adding them to our assets array. Now let's look at how we're calling these uh, blocks to make things happen here. Okay, we're initializing the uh, assets array. We're not using any of the new automatic reference counting in this project at the moment. We are finding the assets library. We are then saying, right, work through the entire library on this device. Enumerate through groups with types AL assets group album. So we're looking for all albums. And we're going to use the block asset group enumerator. There it is. If we get a failure, we're simply going to log out the issue. Okay, what this is going to do then is going to enumerate through the assets library, it's going to pull out all albums, and then when the albums is going to pull out all of the objects, and it's going to put them into our assets folder. So let's have a little look down here. What we're going to need to do is to add all these assets somehow into the table view, because here we are, causing our table view to reload. So let's go down here to our table view methods. And we'll paste in some code to define the table view cells. Again, not using storyboards for this application either. So we're doing things the old school way. And what we're going to do is we're going to show an image with a thumbnail of the actual photograph in the left image view. And we're going to set the label to taken on. And then with the date provided by the assets library, inserted into the taken on string. Now we'll go down to the table view 
did select row at index path method, paste in some code to get the row index, and then to pass through the asset from our assets array into the preview view controller and to push it to cause it to display. So two more small things we'll need to do here. We'll need to return one for the number of sections in the table view. And for the actual number of rows in section, we'll return assets count to make sure we show the right number of rows. Now what we see in here is an example of using blocks for enumeration. If we go over and look at the preview view controller, you'll see the code that's already written in the view did load to take through the asset that's been passed through to it and to use the asset library to get the default representation, that is the default image representation of that asset, whether it's a JPEG or RAW, for example, to then find its URL, and then we will use blocks for a result and a failure block. And we will attempt to obtain from the URL the asset from the assets library. The result block will then take the asset that's been retrieved. We'll find the image reference for the full resolution image. And if it's found it, we'll actually display the image in the image view. If there's a failure of any sort, then we'll simply just log things out. Now, the second example of blocks that you can see here then is to use blocks to process results or to process failure. Also a very common usage of blocks within various frameworks. Okay, so now if we go back and run this in the simulator, we're probably not going to see much. Because as I stated before, the assets library will look through albums that are saved on the device, and we don't have any albums set up on our simulator to allow that to happen. We'll have to run this test on the device itself. And as this is a universal application, I'll run this one on an iPad to show you how that looks. OK, so let's run that on my iPad. So the application starts up, retrieves all the assets, not many assets on this particular iPad. But as you can see, it lists the assets, allows me to go look at the preview images, and everything works exactly as we'd expected. So now we've seen how to use blocks with the asset library, and seen how some libraries make tasks easier, such as enumerating through assets.